Okay, today's adventure in pork is going to be something that I found that sounded really good. It's a uh, pork belly confit. I've always wanted to make a uh, duck confit, but trying to find four cups of duck fat around here is kind of difficult. So this, I love doing pork bellies, and this will work out fine. So here's the spice mix we're going to use. First off, we've got a tablespoon of freshly cracked black pepper, uh, two tablespoons of salt, and here I'm just using the, the sea salt crystals. It didn't specifically call out kosher salt, so I'm not going to use the kosher salt because there is a big difference in the amounts. It's something like uh, a teaspoon of salt is equal to like a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt, so I'm just using the regular sea salt. And then here we have uh, this is the pink salt. This is a half a teaspoon of pink salt. Ground cloves. That's a third of a teaspoon of ground cloves. We have uh, cinnamon. That's a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Ground cinnamon. We have thyme. Dried thyme. It's a teaspoon of dried thyme. And here we have two crushed or cracked up, broken up uh, leaves, uh, bay leaves. So they're kind of crushed up nicely. So we're just going to take these. Dry ingredients and just mix them all in. And then we're going to coat, cover our, uh, our pork belly. It's going to use three pounds of pork belly that have been cut into about one inch strips. One inch wide strips. Because you're going to cover this you're going to coat the pork belly really good with this with this dry, basically dry rub mix. And then you're going to submerge it with some, with a, a drinkable dry white wine. This is a, just a Chardonnay that I picked up. It's very expensive, but it tastes good. I mean, you can drink it. You should never use a wine that you can't drink or that you won't drink. So there, that, that's nicely mixed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, get the pork laid out in the, in a container, and then we're gonna show how that looks because that's got to go in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Okay, I've coated the um, the pork belly pieces with the the spice mix. Spice mix really smells like uh, the seasoning or the the cure that you would use for corned beef. It smells really good. Now I've got these pork bellies at Whole Foods and they, they came in these long strips so I cut them like this so that they'll fit into the container easier. Which is fine because when you're gonna, gonna use the, the, the pork belly after you've, uh, you've cooked it in the, in the pork fat, uh, you're gonna want smaller pieces because you, you don't want to eat a lot of this stuff. So this is great because you can cut these and that'll be like one serving for each of these pieces. So. Uh, the nice thing with the, these that I got at Whole Foods, they had already removed the rind or the skin, which is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in and add a little white wine on top of that. And just kind of alternate, put it in there like that, kind of brick it a little bit. And add the last layer. Let's get rid of this. Actually, I want to get the rest of, some of that, rest of that spice mix in there. And then you want to cover the pork belly completely with the white wine. So one bottle of wine, perfect amount. So I'm going to cover this and uh, put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours overnight and then tomorrow we're going to actually start the, the confit where we're going to put these in a baking dish and then cover them with, a, with probably about four cups of melted pork fat or lard and then you're gonna 
simmer it for a little bit on the stove on, on the stove top until it comes up to a boil and then you want to put it in the oven a low oven and cook it. okay the pork is rinsed off really good and you can see that this is really nice and meaty these are really good pork bellies now here's the lard that I'm going to use uh, it's available in most uh, supermarkets in the uh, baking section where you find oils and stuff and it comes packaged like this it's just a big chunk and we're gonna heat this up melt it in uh, a large Dutch oven and then before it gets too hot I'm gonna slip the, uh, the pork in down into the fat and then it's got to come up to a boil and then you're going to put it in the oven, a 250 degree oven. So the, the oven is preheated and then we're going to be cooking this in the oven for three hours, uncovered. Okay, let's melt some fat. Okay, I got the pork belly and the melted lard and just bringing it up to a simmer. I uh, said earlier, bring it up to a bowl, but no, you wanna bring it up to a, a slight simmer like this. So I'm gonna get ready to put this in the oven. So I'll turn the heat off. I ended up using three of these one pound packages of lard to completely cover it because you wanna make sure that the pork belly is completely covered with the fat. So I used three of these, so that was three pounds. Okay, let's get this in the oven. Okay, I've had the uh, confit in the refrigerator for, this is, uh, I had it in there over yesterday, so today's the second day it's been in the refrigerator, I'm gonna take it out. And I moved it over to this smaller glass container and I'm not really planning on letting this uh, stay in the refrigerator for months at a time. We'll probably eat this pretty quick. But this method is, was generally used for preserving uh, foods uh, for long periods of time by keeping it completely submerged and covered in, in, in the fat. Uh, as you can see, the, some of the, the pork belly is, is actually showing which is going to work out good for me because I will eat it and I'll be able to tell where they are. I don't have to like kind of go hunting around looking for it. So I'm going to grab out a piece of this and uh, fry it up real quick and we'll see, see how it tastes. Okay, you just want to fry this up a little bit. I mean, it's already cooked, but you just want to crisp it up. Push that fat up a little bit and then warm it. Make sure that it's warm all the way through. Oh, it smells good. I mean, it really smells good. I got a uh, feeling that this, uh, this fat would be really good in uh, making some fried potatoes. Okay. Here's the finished pork confit, and boy, it does taste good. It's incredible. It's extremely rich. I don't know how you, if you can see that, but a lot of really good meat. Now, uh, it was suggested to, set, to serve this with uh, <clears throat> a mixed green salad with a tart vinaigrette and some mustard. And uh, I would say, yeah, that would be really good. Mm. You can taste those spices in the wine. Really good. We're going to enjoy this. There's, there it is, pork belly confit. 